ordered that we now proceed to elect by a viva voce vote a president of the city council for the year 2024. A motion is in order to adopt. The motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The order is adopted. As the councilors' names are called, they will reply with the name of the candidate of their choice for the office of president. Councilors Kadim? Joseph Kamara. Councilor Kamara? Joseph Kamara. Councilor Hart? Joseph Kamara. Councilor Kilby? Joseph Kamara. Councilor Pereira? Joseph Camara. Councilor Ponte? Joseph Camara. Councilor Raposo? Joseph Camara. And Councilor Sampson? Joseph Camara. <laughs> Councilor Camara, having received eight votes, is hereby declared president of the City Council for the year 2024. Will the president-elect please step forward for administration of the oath of office? Please raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Joseph Kamara. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially perform. That I will faithfully and impartially perform. The duties of the office of president of the city council. The duties of the office of president of the city council. Of the city of Fall River. Of the city of Fall River. To the best of my ability and understanding. To the best of my ability and understanding. In accordance with the constitution and laws. In accordance with the constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of this commonwealth. And of this commonwealth. And the ordinances of the city of Fall River. And the ordinances of the city of Fall River. So help me God. So help me God. Before I begin, I want to thank my colleagues for that vote of confidence. Welcome to the presidency again. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. This time, I'd also like to thank my wife and my family for supporting me as a counselor for all these years. Thank you so much. And to all the spouses, to all the spouses and family of every elected official up here, I know the governor mentioned it, and she's correct. It's a lot of hard work on you, too, and we sincerely appreciate that you let us do what we love to do on behalf of this city. Thank you to all of you. Good afternoon. First and foremost, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all of those here today who have been elected to serve this great city. Our different positions within the government are all vital to the growth and prosperity of our community, and over the next two years, we will be working together to improve the quality of life of all who live and work here. At this time, I'd also like to recognize Governor Healy, thank you for coming, Congressman Jake Achenkloss, and the Fall River delegation, starting with Representative Senator Mike Rogers, Representatives Fiola, Sylvia, and Smith. Thank you for the work you do for our community and the state at large. Thank you. President John F. Kennedy once said, long before he was president, that there are four pillars of service, courage, judgment, integrity, and dedication. These are the four pillars of all municipal services. Courage is to face the issues that are not easy to solve, especially when the public is watching. Judgment is how we make our choices, both in our future and our past. And understanding that sometimes we need to reach out for others for guidance. Integrity in our principles, following what we know is the right choice for the people, even if it isn't the popular choice. And finally, dedication, the devotion to serving the public good. These are the goals of all those sitting before you today. Do challenges exist? Certainly. There are always growing pains when the community wants to thrive. There will be decisions and debates and discussions because while we all want what is best for our city, we may not always agree. New business developments, housing, and public work updates will certainly present bump in the roads from time to time. But I am confident in our ability to drive towards success. Success is how we develop our industrial parks to thrive. Success is how we provide new state-of-the-art facilities for our students. Success is the redevelopment of the waterfront that this city lived without for far too long. Success is related to dedication, 
and dedication provides results. I look forward to finding new solutions and strategies to help our community grow, build, and prosper into what we all know it could be. Thank you very much.